Hi guys, and today I'm going to be discussing why the hell is booktube so divided? This came about when one of my friends on the internet, Alessia, she put up a screen capture of her talking to someone on a book review and it was sort of this where while she was expressing her opinion, the person reacted negatively to her opinion, claiming that it was wrong and that she shouldn't have said what she said. But this got me thinking, why is Booktube so divided? Why do we need a tag to just say an opinion even if it is not the popular one? Why do we need a reason to buy books if we haven't read the rest of the series? Why is it okay for some books to be rated very highly but other books to be rated so low even when we personally enjoyed them? Why is it okay to be either for or against the book but never to be just neutral on it. Why is that? And I want to discuss this today. First off, I want to say if you have a different opinion to the general populace on a book, that is okay. You're allowed to have your own opinion. You're allowed to express that opinion in any way, shape or form you want. And you're allowed to get along with people who share a different opinion. Me, I don't like the Mortal Instruments series because I've tried to get in them so many times but it just, it doesn't work for me. Alessia, she loves the Immortal Instrument series. And just because I don't enjoy the books that she does, does not take away the fact that she still enjoys them. It should not ruin the fact that she loves these books. And I like seeing her expressing her joy over these books. I think it's really good. And I know that if she read some of the books that I like and didn't like them, that would not matter because we're allowed to have our own opinions on these things. Like, we're allowed to say hey, um, this book is flawed, but I still like it. And you were allowed to say, well, I don't like that book because of this, this, and this. I'll be like, okay, that's fine. It doesn't ruin my enjoyment of Lothra. It would never ruin my enjoyment of Evernight. It will never ruin my enjoyment of Vampire Academy if you don't like that book. Because it is my enjoyment, not yours. I like to read what I like to read. And I like to give my opinion regardless of if it's popular or not. And I certainly don't need a tag to protect myself from an inevitable barrage of people who are like, how dare you say this and that about this series because it is the greatest series ever. People like that who are just like, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I don't care if you like it or not, but if, I, but if you express that you don't like it, I will burn you with fire. I hate those people. I hate people who are just so blind to the fact that people have issues with books. Like, Love Rare, for what it is, it is a very well done book. It does have a few issues, but I still love it because it is one of my favourite books of all time. Vampire Academy, Rochelle Mead's good series, and Bloodlines, they have issues too. No book is completely flawless. It will always have some issues that someone will take issue with. And you can't control that. You can't just say this book is the greatest thing ever and expect everyone to think the same way. And you shouldn't shame people into having an opposite opinion to you just because you find that opinion wrong. I truly think that if you think that your enjoyment of a book predicates other people enjoying it too, what, 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 why? Like, if you find someone who likes the same book as you, that's great. That is fantastic. But don't put other people down just because their opinion is different to yours. I read Clockwork Angel, the second book in the um, Infernal Devices series. It was okay. I liked the manga a bit better because it cut out a lot of stuff that I felt was unnecessary. And it cut out a lot of important scenes as well. But that's okay. Alessia doesn't like the Infernal Devices series, but that's all right. My enjoyment on that, on that single book is not predicated on her not enjoying it. It's just because I like the setting and I like that book. You know, I don't, I, I just, I don't understand why people feel the need to, you know, bully people over a difference of opinion. Like. Secondly, if I buy a book, regardless of what number it is in the series, whether it's the seventh book, if I pick it up and there is no label and I read the description and I'm interested, I will read that book regardless if it's the seventh or the first, fifth, sixth, whatever. 
if it interests me, I will read it. And I don't care if you are like, well, why would, why would you, why would you spoil yourself? Because that's the way I like to read. I like to read books at midpoints and just go from there because I know what's going to happen. So all the stakes are lowered. So I focus more on the character interactions. And that is the way I like to read. Sure, when it's the first book in the series by a favourite author, I will pick it up. And, you know, that is fine. But I swear I would have gotten more enjoyment out of the Throne of Glass series if I had read the third book and then the first. Because that series just annoyed me to hell with the first book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. There were bits I liked, bits I didn't like. But I still reckon that if I had read the third book and gone back, I would have liked it a tad bit more. And... That's okay. If you want to buy a book, no matter what it is in the series, because you think the premise sounds cool, buy that book. No matter if you haven't read the series, if you have read the series, if you're a TV show only watcher, if you're a book only thing, just buy it. You do not need other people's, you do not need to validate your decision on why other people can't understand why you're buying this book. If you find that book interesting, buy the shit out of that, rent it from the library. I don't care as long as you enjoy that book. And the third thing I want to get out of this video is why the hell are we this divided? Like, why can't we all just mesh together? And I think it's because people are so black and white. Like, you can't you can't love a book and see its flaws. You have to love everything. You have to be blind to the flaws of the book. You can't just love something with flaws. They're either for or against, and as long as that for and against mentality stands, booktube will always be divided into the people who don't like the book and the people who do like the book, and then there's the people in the middle who like the book but can see its flaws, or are just neutral in the book, have not read it, but don't want to say, I hate it, burn it with fire. I think that people need to look at not judging other people for having a difference of opinion, but judge them on the things that they have in common. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Alyssa likes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A lot of stuff we do have in common, but the, the differences of opinion we share in books don't define the friendship that we have. It's just that we hold difference of opinions in areas that don't really matter. What matters is the commonality and the difference of opinion makes for great conversation, really, like, what more can I say? So thanks for listening to me ramble and rant about things that in the booktube community that seriously just make me confused. Like, really, difference of opinion doesn't matter. And I don't think people should outright spew hate comments or anything just because their opinion isn't discussed in a particular video or isn't expressed by a particular figure that has got a high up in the booktube community. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you guys in the next video.